Hello and welcome back to Train Sim TV. Uh, today we're taking a look at the Fast Circle line. It's the Edinburgh Cold and Dunfermline route from Rivet Games. Um, recently just now out. It's it's out now. So go and have a look at the video. See if it's one for you. Um, I've seen the stream. It didn't go down too well. Um, as many people probably do know. Um, there's, there is some issues. Um, hopefully it's not going to be one of these routes that just gets forgotten about and left. And we don't ever see anything else for it. But... Um, yeah, um, I'm going to drive the 170. From what I saw on the stream, the model of the 170 looked absolutely fantastic. Um, it's just the audio side of things I wasn't overly sure on. But until you go and play this yourself, it's one of them you don't know. You're hearing it on a stream. You, I, I would prefer to hear it for myself and we can see what's what. Um, so, uh, it comes with five scenarios. There's a training module as always. Um, your scenarios are there's a variety. Got the, there's an hour and 50 run there. There's, there's all sorts from 45 minutes to an hour and 50. Um, we're going to drive just a timetable run, uh, probably do the lower part of the route. Um, as you'll see, there is just stuff for the 170. Apparently, there's more stuff for the one uh, for the 385 than 170, uh, which is very bizarre. Seeing as you're only going to be driving that for about a station or so. Um, 97 services for the 170. Um, I believe there's going to be a 158 in due course from Skyhook, which was um, teased at the same time when this route was leaked. A lot of leaks leaked it wasn't leaked it was it was previewed um so yeah that's to come at some point so hopefully that'll open up a lot more but for now we are just with the 170 so let's open that and let's see what we've got so general run well, i'll probably go for a 55 minute run if i can get away with that so 54 56 let's go with 54 minute run stick it in there and we'll get it off custom and we'll just put some light clouds in there right let's go with that and see what happens we're doing one lima 33 we're going to go along the lower part of the circle to Thornton with uh, Glen Ross just go to Mark Inch but we're not going to go up there today so we'll just drive this and see what's what Route um, is available for £29.99 as well. It had a pre-order of 10% off, which was £26.99. So if you was lucky enough to uh, get Welcome that. Welcome to the ScotRail service to Dundee. Calling at Haymarket, Edinburgh Gateway, Inverkeaving. I'm already confused. Aberdour, Burnt Island, Kinghorn, Kirkcaldy, Markinch. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. Okay. I'm already confused because we picked a service. It was um, a Fort and Glen Ross. I'm pretty certain we did, but apparently we're going to Dundee. Oh, it's going to market. Why did it say Fort McGillan Ross when I clicked it on the map? Oh, never mind. Anyway, we're going there apparently. Um, so we are going to market. So I'm I'm picturing here from what I've heard from the AP one uh, one seventy pack. And when you go to the reverse, it makes it like, sort of like a springy noise when you go into neutral. I'm going to turn the vigilance off. That's because. If I come outside, it's going to uh, all go wrong, isn't it? So, it's got uh, destination stuff on here as well, which you can change. Uh, we need to put Dundee on there. I think once I move it, it, uh, it cancels it and you have to go from the beginning. So, we need to find Dundee on here now. No idea it was there. There we go. Wow, card. Lead driver. Are you going to give me the head code? Monel? Nope, it doesn't. Fantastic. That's a shame. I'm just playing around with things, what, we can, what we've got here. Oh? 
bagpipes are playing. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know if I recall the bagpipes being played on the um, Edinburgh Glasgow route, to be honest. More so, they actually made this station. And well, there's still no one working at the station. Hmm. Well, there's someone behind the counter. I, why? I, I don't understand why we can't walk in the shops. There's all this open area, and you can sort of see it, but you can't go in it. Probably because the, the textures are low res. Or the new plushies. Yeah, I don't understand why you can't go in the shops. Now, we've got... Oh, my God. We can actually go down here. It's not in service, but it's going. That's as far as we can go. That doesn't look like it's working. That looks like it's running on emergency diesel power. And it's not going very far. That just doesn't work. <laughs> right, anyway, never mind that. We're not here for that. We're here for the 170. Right, let's get in the... Uh, let's get in the cab. So I can hear his bagpipes. All the, uh, the controls are very nice and clunky. DRA on. No. Oh, we are going. Actually, to be fair, it does sort of sound like a 170. <laughs> Horn's decent. I need to hear the revving. Idle sounds like a 170. I can't. I cannot fault the idle. I'm not really looking at the route at this moment in time because we're currently on the existing part of the Edinburgh Glasgow, so there's nothing really new to see and show here. So at this point, we can use this time to focus on the, the 170 itself. I mean, the modelling is lovely. If you've seen on the Facebook page um, or their YouTube channel, Rivet um, posted a load of quite interesting, in depth uh, videos on how the 170 was built with lo loads of 3D scanned imagery and stuff like that. It's really interesting to be Quite clever. Definitely worth a look. I mean, the, the model itself looks lovely. It, it, there's no getting away that looks doesn't look like a 170. It's a shame there's no extra light variations on these because they've just gone with one one time. No, not wise to do that in the tunnel, is it? Because it's just far far too echoey. <laughs> Right, but we're in the tunnels, so let's have a look at the map. So Haymarket here. And we're going to, instead of obviously going the way that the route once went, we are now going to the right. Now, I see a lot of extra track here. Now, does all this have scenery? Like Tillinlithgow? I wonder. I wonder if we can go from Linlithgow up towards the, uh, the fourth bridge. What I will say is that the, the, the general driving physics for this ain't bad at all. The brakes are decent. It's got it feels like it's got the right amount of power for one something. To be fair, in the cab, 
they um, they're quite soundproof, so you're not going to hear everything. And I believe I think the engines are further back, so in here it's, it is pretty well sound condensed. But you can hear rattles. I, I can hear. I can say. I can hear the engine idling. I can hear some rattling. I didn't hear any announcements coming to the station though. I don't know why. Or do we get announcements when we leave the next the next station? Right, I won't come outside for the uh, the all important. So I'll take from that. I think it's missing this month. If you listen to an AP 170, it has a, a bit more of a, a deeper sort of bassier exhaust when it, they get going. Whether the Scott Rail ones would sound different, I don't know. But I mean, a 170 to me would be a 170. <laughs> but it's, it, I feel like it could do a, a bit more oomph. And when it sort of got going, it sort of like revved up quite quick. But later in, when it got to about 30, 30 mile an hour, it seemed to rev up a bit faster and that felt like it was a bit too fast, but I think it just needs a bit of a little bit of refining maybe, I don't know. Whether we'll see any more refining it of it in the uh, post release patches, I don't know, but in the cab it didn't sound too bad it's slab with the window open. I think it's more bearable than the 150, let's put it that way. Probably not perfect, but I think it's bearable. You never know, someone might do a sound mod on TSC. I'm looking at you, your boy, 165. <laughs> if you're listening or watch these videos, who knows? I think I just need, I don't think it's a million miles off, I just feel like it's just not quite there. Uh, so we're not too far from leaving existing route, so we'll be going on to new territory in a minute. Under the tram bridge. The usual bit of towel stuttering that goes on with this game. Wish that could be stomped out. Alright, so the line to the left towards Glasgow Queen Street. We're taking the line to the right, which will go towards the fourth uh, bridge and uh, onwards and beyond. I tell you what, when it rev revs down and it adds off, it sounds pretty alright. It doesn't seem to do that weird drop off where, if you like, for example, the classic stick where you, you, you stick it into, like, from power to off, it just literally just drops off like. Um, <laughs> it's no gradual sort of. But that had gradual, like, dropping off. Not too bad. There's some trackside clutter. There's cable troughing. That's a that's a buzz, a, a bit of a bonus, isn't it? Nice. I like the fact there's actually got some cable troughing because that's the second route in a row that we've done a video on. It's got cable troughing, so good. Right, is this is this Edinburgh Gateway? I can't remember what station this is. Might be on the other line actually. That one. Is this? Oh, this is South Gyle. 
Edinburgh Gateway, I think, is the first station on the next part. So don't mind me, I'm just talking absolute rubbish. Oh, we're not even stopping here. This is why the service doesn't take as long, so we're not actually stopping this. I've just slowed down for nothing. It would help if I'm looking at what I'm actually meant to be doing. No one. I'm going to look at the station. Usual, um, it's your, your, your usual rivet style, though. The stations are normally pretty decent with a rivet route. I don't see no issues with that. It looks like a nice, uh, nicely modelled. Got the planters, they've made an appearance. Could have maybe done with a bit more foliage on these grass banks at the back of the station. A couple of strands of grass. A bit naff. <laughs> Which is what we'll, we'll sort of go on to our next sort of uh, topic is um, trackside foliage looks a little bit uh, of an abundance. There's not any. It's that stuff that grows up in front of you when you get near it. So when you're looking ahead, it looks like there's absolutely naff all there. Get near it, a few strands of grass will pop, pop out of the ground like a Teletubby um, microphone thing. What was shout time for Tubby Bye Bye? <laughs> but yeah, that's annoying that. It can't be that hard to place some foliage down. I know it's not hard to place some foliage down. I use the tools myself. I just, I just feel like the way that it's been done is a bit lazy. In all honesty. Whereas you can go with the normal paint tool, put all the polish down properly, and then you can paint that stuff on top of it to give extra variety. Not hard. It just looks to me like it's been the foliage has been done on the quick. Which really it shouldn't be because the foliage is one of the big things that you're gonna see along the drive. Again, nice station. Cannot fault the stations. A lot of glass on this one. That's a station announcement. I've not heard any more train announcements yet, which is a bit of a weird one, because when they did the DTG stream, they said that they'd be there on the release. I'm not hearing any. That glass goes all... Oh, that, that's weird. That, I think that glass might be a little bit too strong. <laughs> it looks like a flat plane, actually, but it just doesn't look like it works. It's like everything's like missing. <laughs> Weird. We've got the tram depot down here. No tram wires though. I'm pretty certain the other part of the route next to the track has the wires. Why is no tram wires down here? There's trams there. I thought there was a trim going there. Um, yeah, I don't understand what's going on here. The tram, the tram Academy, I presume, is the actual place there, but it looks like they've gone to more detail point. The Tram Academy building sign on that no one's really going to look at, and there's no tramways. Okay. Moving forward. May I have your attention, please? You may. There seems to be more foliage here. <laughs> but again, I don't know if it's the same. I don't know. I think there's actually foliage and the other tool put on this bit. So whether we've changed into a section with a different developer, I don't know. I'm not sure. Obviously, they've got the airport somewhere around here. Hmm. 
I mean, when I look over there, that all looks a little bit lacklustre to me. Doesn't look like there's much there. There's no planes. I can see the tower. I presume it's a custom model. It just doesn't look like there's much going on in the scenery. And I'm noticing that this is a... Uh, oh. This is a straight line. And there's now a kink in the track. So that tells me that this line hasn't been laid in a dead straight. In the, in the, the trigonometry. It's just been sort of like, oh my god, we've gone off. We need to turn it in a bit. And again, it's doing up here. I think this should be dead straight. I'm pretty certain it is. We've got the pylons down here. These are, I'm not really sure if these are old telegraph pylons have just been left there or if we've got lights on in real life for the planes. I'm not too sure. No, it's just a height thing. So they're not going to touch the tops of the trains or something. I have not, to be honest, I've not got a clue. So, they're there. The next stop for us is in the key thing, which is um, on the other side of the fourth bridge. So, we're not actually stopping now till then. So, this is a semi fast work, and I will go with. Um, we ain't stopping at every station. I presume there will be some services that do stop at every station because there was some that had like an hour and ten minutes on their journey. We're a fast. Trees all look a bit the same in terms of the texturing. Come back to that sort of like not much grass on the track again. Yeah, I feel like the grass, like the, the tree shaders, may not be sort of the same ones we see on other routes. I feel like they're just the same shade of green. I don't like them track joints. Sounds like someone's just dropped the the the, um, the, the catering trolley. <laughs> They're all right. Right, they're all right outside. To be perfectly honest with you, they don't sound that bad outside, but inside, what the heck was that? I am speedy, by the way. And we are actually on the uh, the the centerpiece of the room. Now, can I get? Oh, no, 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 no. Why can't we go further out? What a shame. What a shame. With, with a structure like this, you expect to be able to go well out. out like, oh, you should be able to go a lot further out than that. How are you meant to get a screenshot on your train on the bridge and you can't go any further than that beam? That's... That is a shame. What about the other side? Yep. That is... That is... Uh, yeah. It's a shame because that is a lovely... That is a lovely model. And for you not to be able to go that far out to see it is a bit of a shame. I mean, it's a little bit rough in some of the areas, actually, to be fair. I've just seen them. I don't quite think they left it like that, but... Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, I, I tell a lie. I, I was on the wrong camera. You can go out and see your train on the bridge, so you're all right. You can. I'll take that back. I do apologise. That's a bad Tom. I'm talking absolute horse. Right. Yeah, they've actually caught the area nicely. Number three cam don't let you go that far, does it? That's my own fault. Sorry. Right, let's have a look here, because even though the sun's in the wrong... Totally wrong. What we want is a 
a nice picture. With the old bridge in the background, but the sun is not in my favour. I don't think we're going to be able to uh, do anything with that, so I will have to come back and do probably something with that. I don't know. Yeah, I can come back and sort a picture. All right, so yeah, I've, I've talked a bit of all stuff. <clears throat> you can go off the cam with the normal eight cam. That's a bad me. Bad track drinks again. I'm very, very uh, sharp in the cap. Invocating. Invocating or invocating? I don't quite know. This is where the, uh, I think, where the bus depot had to change area and stuff in the car parks were. And they've actually got a custom for that, which is nice. That was missed off on the DTG uh, Fire Circle, which was a shame. I can't see any bridges. You'd think you'd be able to see the bridges from here still. Tops of them. But no, apparently not. I mean, the route doesn't have a bad feel to it. I think it's just a little bit rough around the edges. In some areas. Mainly some of the foliage stuff. Trackside foliage for me. But uh, the general sort of look of it ain't bad. <coughs> I've, I've seen worse. <clears throat> There's a little old in the tunnel there, but not bad. I haven't seen AI yet, other than one leaving Edinburgh and an 800 and a 385. I've seen more 385s than 170s. Why is there already 170s knocking around? It is a free car, by the way, this. Don't know if there's any two car formations, but. You'd be able to make your own information designer, no doubt. Oh, you couldn't go so far. By the looks of it. Apparently, if you go up to the plushie, it puts a fish in front of it and sticks its tongue out of you. Quite cool. I do like the plushies that they do. And the area on the coast is, is quite uh, known for like having seals. Grace the, uh, the coastline. Oh, it's got gobble. It actually buzzed to us. Arbador. Arbadawa? Arbadawa. I feel like the signals, like the texturing on the signals is very light. light. On the heads. It seem very dark. I don't know. Signals in TSW are a funny one because one route they'll be like, like 
one thing and then another it'll look totally different <clears throat> I suppose it'll go down what each developer's using like what version or type or build whether they've been copied from an existing route and used off them like the models have been brought forward I don't know So we're going to the right. If you go to the left, you can go to the top part of the line. Basically, it's at the, the circle. In the timetable, it's missing stuff such as freight as well. It's there's nothing, no special stuff like no RHTTs or any tours or anything like that, which is a shame. Although I, I think they said in the stream that they were looking to add extra services. So I don't quite know. Are we are we on a an early access preview here or something for getting stuff later on they also mentioned about the Leaven branch being added once it's opened as a, I think as a free update as well which is nice but one thing I would like to hope is that before they, they go and start doing stuff like that is that they go and address any issues on this part first and fix anything I mean for example what, there's no there's no fencing we just do a bit of trespassing here for me either side of the track there's no fence <clears throat> These things are simple things. We should be seeing this as a standard. We're not stopping here. Not sure what station this is. This might be uh, Dalgetty Bay. Yeah, Dalgetty Bay. It's a simple station, this one really. There's nothing of any significance to point out on that one. What was that fan? What is that? No, is that the one seventies fans I can hear? It sounds like it's the, the fans on the one seventy that are still playing when the train goes off into the distance. No way can that be ambient audio. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a nice bridge. I've hanging down, but they've ruined it with uh, horrible bright graffiti, which you'd never see that in real life. Up here. Telling me that um, little, little Dave that lived down in Edinburgh's uh, walked all the way down here and uh, come and tagged that bridge especially and did an absolute uh, masterpiece on it. I don't like that graffiti. It just doesn't suit. If you're telling me that that's on a cab ride going past here, then I'll, uh, I'll be surprised, but I don't think so. I don't like that graffiti. But it it spoils a nice looking bridge, that. With all the ivy hanging off, it's a lovely model. Just been ruined by over bright, ridiculous graffiti. I feel like there's a bit of an abundance in super elevation as well in some areas. I, just, I feel like this should be curved. I elevated into the curve. I don't know. We're on a net, we're on a seventy-five mile an hour section. And I feel like there's just not a lot of elevated curvature. And that's not just there. I feel I feel like I've uh, it's missing other places as well. Why oh, they drop coins? might have uh, misjudged my braking here. I don't know, we've got a big platform, we're alright. Ah, oh, the nice bridge again, but there's no graffiti, that's better. I don't think. Is there any graffiti? I don't know if there's graffiti or not, I can't tell yet. I'll not speak too soon. The details there, they, they put the detail and put all the work into near the stations, which is nice. It's not, not nice. Nice scenes like that. 
And we know Rivet can do it because they show what they can do with the Benin line. I thought that was an absolute sterling job. Stuff like that, that looks just nice. It just feels a little bit lacking in some areas when you get into the sticks again, away from the stations. It's like, oh, look, we need to put some trees down. Like, oh, we're back at the station, let's put some detailing. Some areas it just feels like, oh, it's just station, trees, back to a station, trees, back to a station. It's, uh, and you get to these areas with the stations and it looks really, really nice. Using B like I'm on Train some Classic. <clears throat> There's some scaffolding on that house. I don't think they've actually put some uh, bag of feet there. Well, oh, that bridge was a little low. Oh dear. Oh dear. We just took off the bridge out. Someone call Network Rail. That needs fixing. No, we don't. Oh, it just looked like it's just, it's just catching slightly. Burnt Island next. I want you to refer to it as called Burnt Island. I never realised I didn't break it down so actually it was Burnt Island. <laughs> I think actually as well, sort of like, realised what it was called. I think there was a Scottish sitcom as well called Burnt Island. It was the, um, I'm sure it was the same guys that uh, were in um, Still Game. Which is a very funny Scottish uh, sitcom if you've never watched it before. Absolutely fantastic. We're all on the coast now. Now this really should be full of rocks, I believe, and not much. There's, there's not much in the way of rocks. <laughs> I would have I would have thought that there might be a few more rocks than that placed. Uh got bits of I presume it must have been a dock area at some point with some buildings around it, obviously been demolished. Yeah, it's alright. That didn't give me the wow factor on the coast. I thought there might have been a bit more there. But we never know. We're not, we're not past with all the coast stuff. It might be something else to uh, give us the wow factor. I mean, that looks like when you look at that, that 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 isn't sort of wow factor. I don't know. <clears throat> oh my god, there's an AI. Oh, I thought this line was busier than it is. Unless it's because we haven't got the one five eight yet, we are missing stuff. Used to be a, um, a rail area in the docks down here years ago. Yeah. Pretty much on time. Worrying. Not so bad, does it? A bit more worthy for a screenshot there. The sun's on the right side. Yeah, 
Had it all squared up then, I've just messed it up. I don't know if I... To be fair, I might end up using that more than the... Using the fourth bridge. I feel like the fourth bridge is... It's too hard to get the picture. Too much to cram in, and you'll never get it all there. Also, there's a piece of grass sticking through that plot, which has just annoyed me. That might just have ruined that perfectly nice shot. <laughs> Yeah, there's the, the old track. It's all severed off. I don't understand what this noise is. I feel like it is the 170. No, oh, it's annoying that. So, uh, King Gaul next. So, from the Scottish capital in the Firth of the Fourth Lowlands, embarked on key passenger services over iconic cantilevers and along picturesque coastline. Scotrail Turbo star in the spotlight as this modern diesel legend populates the round and round rails of Rivet Games' five circle line for TSW4. With a history dating back to the 1840s, what is operated today as the Five Circle Line was built by a multiple of companies. Over time, lots of branches uh, started to appear in both the regions of the Fife and Lobium. However, there is one key obstacle which prevented the line from initially joining up. The Firth of the Fourth, a mile west estuary north of Edinburgh. Construction of the Almighty Fourth Bridge in the 1890s changed everything, spanning over 8,000 feet. The cantilever bridge carried the high railway, uh, the railway high over the water, and opened up a vital connection between the north and south. This led to the linking of lines via the coast, which itself is an extension of the East Coast Main Line, as well as the Loop Line, which splits off at either Keithing and Calcaldy via the city of Dunfermline. <coughs> In TSW4, climb aboard the Scotrail BR Class 170, a popular DMU throughout the UK, and serve the regions of the Lowview and Fife, on one of Scotland's last diesel operated community lines. With the power of free roam, explore the route where you desire and how you desire. Find Scotland will be right at home as it traverses the world renowned Fourth Bridge, even though it's not included on the timetable. <clears throat> I don't see the point of why they put that in the description of the route because it's not even included in the timetable. Yeah, you can do it free run, but that's sort of... Yeah. It's a shame they haven't added it in, to be honest. They haven't added anything in. Other than the, uh, the 170. I just feel like the timetable is just well incomplete. At this point, it's a bit fictional, really. Oh, awful graffiti again. I'm not paying attention to the speed there, I'm just having another look. This caravan part's quite nice on the hill, isn't it? The rail's quite nice, doesn't it? A bit bare in the edges, I feel like it needs a bit more rockery. It doesn't look awful, awful. I have seen a lot worse. <laughs> and this, I wouldn't say this is like a top tier route, which is a shame really, because it, 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 it's one of these routes that should be it's a it's a very important route it's one of the routes that has massive potential and i feel like maybe the potential here so far just hasn't been captured fully we'll just have to wait and see what happens after up, uh, like release and if there's any post updates that can obviously bring it forward a bit more make it shine some more it's that it's one of them routes that deserves deserves it it definitely is a 10 out of 10 in my eyes 
maybe at the minute I probably uh, from what I've seen so far I'd probably say about six that might be a bit generous there is areas that are nice it just needs a little bit more refining I think it's not a route to be fair I wouldn't that this wouldn't be the last time I go on the route I don't think that'll be it I, I will come back and drive on the route I don't think it's awful it just needs a little bit more I think it's one of them routes a bit like how Midland Mainline came uh, I think it just needed a bit more pushing and the polishing up a bit more. And look at Midland Mainline now, look how nice that is. That uh, that route does shine now. It, it, it just needed a bit more. So maybe they just haven't had the time in development for this. Maybe they've had a tight turnaround on this one. I don't know. I wouldn't say turn your back on it though. Maybe if you want the route and don't want it right yet, just put it in your wish list and wait. Just, just wait for any updates to come. It may turn it round. You might just want the route for the 170 because in, in, in reality you could get some uh, skins off the Creators Club and you'd be able to drive it over routes. And the 170 is not awful by any stretch of the means. I think there's a few sounds that are a little bit off in the grand scheme. Model's lovely. Really nice model. I'm not in the passenger area. We'll have a look at there in a minute when we get to the next station to Cacoldi. Uh, the route itself is 52 miles, covering the route from Edinburgh Waverley to Mark Kinch via Cacoldi and Defermlin. Comes with a BR Class 170 and Scott Rail livery, which features a high detail rich cab uh, for driving. True to life performance as always. Accessible tutorials in the train centre. Five uh, engaging scenarios and not, well, they call it authentic, but it isn't authentic because it's missing stuff. Um, if it's authentic in their eyes, that's fair enough. But it's not authentic because it's missing freight or whatever bit that will come over with. Specials, tours, it's missing stuff. Um, it might be authentic down the line, who knows. Um, route tasks as usual, the collectibles. Free roam and all that jazz. Livery designer, formation designer and all that jargon as standard. Uh, download size, if you're really interested, 7.3 gig. One of the big things to me is would be like an overall upgrade in the trackside foliage, reworking the tree like shaders, maybe using some of the newer ones that are on the like goblin and all that stuff. Some of the more recent routes have better trees than this. They're the same models, they're just different shaders. The trees have been the same models throughout the, the whole game's life. Even we use these trees on them. That's the Blackpool route. I use we used is this right is this the right is it Rafe football ground that's nice well that's decent Not a bad job in there. Nice. Better than the TS Classic um, example. I've slowed down a little bit too early. Be fine. We're nearly there. Only a few hundred yards. I see another. Do I see a train? No, I don't. It's a building. Look, a train. Not actually that far now from uh, Mark Inch either. You can see where the Leaven Branch goes off as well to the right. So that that's going to come at a later date. It used to be a freight line, I believe, as well. It used to have um, 
straight down there. I think it did it shoot in the eighties or nineties. I think it did. I was talking to Mark actually about that line over the weekend. We, we'd been away to Model Railway um, uh, exhibition in crew, and we'll talk about that line. And he, he showed us some pictures of what used to run down there. I'm sure there's a cement train or grain trains that potentially ran down there as well. Presuming the next station is yeah, his next one's Mark Inch, so we're not that far. Oh, he's got great school. We didn't have a look inside, did we? Good luck. Ooh. Hey, yeah, it rattles inside. One day we'll see a train that'll have drop down seats that you can actually sit in. I don't understand why we don't get these seats as drop downs. It's probably a bit of a pain to set them up. But... Well, we can do it in here. Overall, it doesn't look bad at all, you know. Not sure if the text should be centralised though. Should the text be centralised? Or should it be set to the left? I'm not really sure. I would have thought centralised, but I could be wrong. It's been known that I can be wrong from time to time. Well, it's the last six miles to our last station on this drive. Have I hated it? No, I haven't actually, to be fair. I thought after seeing what I saw on the stream and the comments I've seen all through Discord, I thought it might have uh, changed my perception a bit more, like actually from the hate and love of it. But... To be fair, yeah, it's got some issues and we've found some bits along the way and I've pointed a few bits out which I think need addressing. Um, well, I haven't hated the drive. I've, it's, it's, oh, I thought, I thought, I thought, oh my God, that's awful. I absolutely hate it. I'm not going to drive this again, blah, blah, blah. But no, I haven't. And I will drive this. And I will still I will continue to drive it. And I'll probably stream it and people will probably whinge that I'm streaming it. But it isn't unusable. It just needs a bit more time. And hopefully the Rivet Games' is, um, developers will be given some extra time to put into it and just to just to refine it after the release. End of the day, commercial and stuff like that, you, the commercial companies have to work to a time constraint and unfortunately sometimes don't get as long as you'd like on some projects. And I feel like this is probably one of them projects that they've probably had to hurry up and get it out the door. Um, for whatever reason, I mean, some sometimes some companies obviously have their end of the end of financial years are probably around this sort of time as well. So it could be that that could be playing a factor. So come on then. Well, fingers crossed they'll uh, get some extra time to come back to it and do some more work. This is um, here, by the way. There's actually this is an industry that there's somewhere around here. There's a load of steam locos actually part like dumped in, a, in an area. I'm not sure if it was here. Floaty windows. There's a little compound somewhere. There's like four or five little uh, tank engines all just that in a compound, rusty. Shame they've not been added. Well, I say you're looking at me now. Just it doesn't feel rubbish at all like that. The foliage again, it's, it's, there's very inconsistent foliage placement here. That Some people have done it with the proper paint. Some people have just done it with the, the stuff that makes it just pop out the ground. So it's it's not consistent in that in that department. There needs to be one consistent level throughout the route. And I, I just don't like 
on its own using that paint tool. I mean, I use the tool where you paint the grass coming out, the, uh, it looks like it pops out, but if you paint it with the normal foliage first, after that it actually gives you a nice, um, a good finish. Again, just some the banks seem to be really, really like close to the track, and that it's, it's like literally almost instantly like come down to the track level. I would have thought there'd been a little bit of flatness and then up. It's an old bridge there, just a little bit of the abutments left over. Somewhere around here is where the line turns off to go back around the circle. Which is this signal is obviously indicating. I do like the um the wine on the track. The branch to the right is the eleven branch. Which again, it will be coming as an update down the line. I will find um, something to do as well on the other section of the route. We'll no doubt come back and have a drive of that as a video. It's too much to fit in one. The whole thing does take about an hour and 50 to do. It's a bit more slower that other part of the line as well. Not something we'll be able to do is stretch a video for two hours. <laughs> it's just not, no point. <clears throat> Yeah, I think overall, at the minute, it's probably about a 6 out of 10, this. Between 5 and 6. It, it, it just needs a little bit more time to help it flourish, I think. And it can be done. We've seen what can be done. Like, middle and main line, that, that managed to be turned around. So hopefully, if it can, stuff like that can be done with this. Just to give it a little bit more. It needs that full timetable sorting as well. All the extra stuff that's missing. This is a markage. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Um, leave leave comments and thoughts in the section below. We can discuss, and uh, it's nice to see what people think. And as well, Rivet may well see this and see the comments and may be able to take feedback on board. At the end of the day, this is what this video is all about, is feedback. It's not to uh, sit there and bump on them, because I know how hard it is to build a route. I just want routes to look great <laughs> as does anyone at the end of the day but uh, yeah thank you for watching links are in the description if it's uh, something you, you fancy personal put in your wish list and we'll see you again very soon uh, we will be streaming this uh, route on the 
channel as well on our stream this week. So do look out for them. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Catch you on Train Some TV. Force us train uh no, sorry. Twitch.tv for slash train some underscore TV. Uh, Fridays and Sundays are our normal time, but this week's been a bit different because I've been away. But uh, we'll, we'll be back to our normal uh, normal speed again. Um, videos and all that will obviously follow. There'll probably be something else for this. I've got other videos to do, so yeah, look out for those for now. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and bye for now.